here in the second day of climate negotiations in Bonn, Germany, as we are heading towards having a new agreement on climate change in Paris. So there are nations from more than 196 countries deciding on a drafting text. And as this is happening, civil society is kicked out of the room. We are not allowed anymore to be inside. Countries have decided, uh, being very pushed from Japan, that we shouldn't be inside of the room. While other developing nations like Malaysia is really supporting of our valued presence as observers. This process is not a just process when observers aren't allowed to witness what's happening and allow for greater transparency within the system. When observers aren't allowed in there, developing countries are at much more of a disadvantage than other countries. They are not allowed to have the capacity that developed countries have to send many more negotiators to do the research. We need observers to be able to fill these things in and also be able to talk to other people in their countries and bring the information back on what's happening because climate change affects everyone. And as Malaysia said, this isn't just a process just for delegates. It affects everyone. So we should all be able to be involved and understand and know what is happening if we want to. This is very detrimental to the democratic process of the United Nations. Civil society must have the right to present such an important uh, negotiation as is the drafting text of the Paris Agreement because the future of everyone is at stake. So it's fundamental that we get that right back. So please push by social media that we can get back in. <laughs>